the the first step initial data in this step we will initial about the 2d position in the chessboard so we will get the 0 0 0 and the 1 0 0 2 0 0 2 10 7 0 point and the second use we will use the open cb functions to get the corner points of the 3d position and up and and store and the store the store the position after store the position we draw on the chessboard And the second question is find the intrinsic metric. We will use the open CV function to get the corner point to, to get the intrinsic metric and the distortion parameter and the Okay. 重來吧。重來的這樣子。從這邊好。The yeah, first question is about the corner detection. There are two steps in this question. First, first is about the initial data. In this step, we will initial about the 2D position in the chessboard. So we will get the 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 2, 10, 7, 0. And, and the second, we use the open CB function to get the corner point of the 3D position and uh, store, store uh, the, this position. After store the position, we will draw the position on the chessboard. And the second question is about the tracing matrix. We use the open CB function about this to get the intrinsic metric distortion distortion parameter rotation vector and the translation vector and we we print the intrinsic metric and the third question is about the find the intrinsic metric we will use the open cv function transfer the rotation vector to the, use this open cv function transfer the rotation vector to rotation metric and the concatenate the rotation metric and the, the translation vector and the, the print out the intrinsic metric and and the, the first the first question is about the uh, Find the distortion metric. In in the second question, we get the distortion metric by the uh, the open CV function, and we just print out the distortion metric. And 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 the. Uh, we use the open CV function, input the intrinsic metric and the distortion, distortion parameter to get the, the camera metrics. And the use the, the, the other open CV function to, to input the image, intrinsic metric and the distortion parameter and the camera metric to get the, the results of the, the, dis, the um, distortion match on distortion image and and the, the the second one is the the, the other way to get the um, distortion image it's the like like this one just input the 
intrinsic metric and distortion metric and the camera metrics. And we will also get the results of the image on this distortion image. What is the result look like? Hmm? Result of the And and the, the, the result will look look like the, this one. So let's input. Mm. It's good. Pretty good. So let's input. Input input. Yes. Okay. Good. It's look good. Very good. And the uh, next. So the uh, question two is about augmented reality. We need to uh, write the word on the chessboard or vertical. So for this uh, two problem, so for this two problem, you need to go the different library like this, and then you need to read the input and turn it to the upper case. Later, you need to find chessboard corner. And later, you need to find a chessboard corner and intrinsic extrinsic distortion parameters. So, this step is as the same as problem one. So, I didn't repeat it. Um, I didn't repeat again. So, you can look by yourself. Later, you need to get a uh, get array from the library. After you get that, you show uh, your get like this one. You get like this one, and its origin is on the bottom right corner. You need uh, you need to write the word on the six regions. So you need to find the six regions bottom right points like this. You need to store that, and after that you need to shift the word to the six regions by add the value from the library and the position of the six regions, and you get the coordinate on the chessboard. After you get the coordinate on the chessboard, it's based on the uh, chessboard plane. So you need to project it to the image plane by use the OpenCV function projection points. Then you will get the image point is on the image plane. Later, you are, uh, you can use this point to draw the line on the image. So that's all. Uh, for question uh, 3.1, uh, we want to find a stereo disparity map. And for the input, we have given you uh, the left image and right image from the uh, stereo camera. And the output is to find this, uh, to, to show, to show this uh, stereo disparity map. And how to do it? This is the algorithm. And for the first step, we need to read the uh, input image, left image, and right image. And then for the, uh, we need to find the search range and block size and generate disparity map, uh, disparity of image left and image right. And for this step two, we can uh, call the OpenCV function uh, here, stereo compute. And then uh, to show the disparity map before, uh, we need to normalize uh, our result uh, to uh, 0 to uh, 255. Um, and so we can uh, show it uh, by a uh, grayscale image because the uh, pixel should be uh, the less, the black should be 0 and the white color should be two, uh, 255. Yes. Um, and this is uh, step uh, 3.1. For 3.2, like uh, we need to find the corresponding point, uh, use the left image as the uh, reference image. Like if we point this point and left image, we need to show green point, corresponding point and right image. Show again. I show it again. Like this point, this point. Yeah. The point. Okay. And then no no uh, let's see okay. it's too quick 
and then we change click click it click this this dinosaur and for the code uh because uh we we don't check uh the depth image in this question but uh i still put it here you can find the depth by the stereo uh, disparity map uh, of the point. So this is the equation. Uh, you, you can check it uh, in the OpenCV book too. I uh, will re include it in the uh, question PPT, our homework question PPT. And for the question, we need to first uh, get the Z, Z value. Uh, this is image, this is the disparity map and the pixel coordinate. And when we find this uh, um, disparity value, a great value uh, at this point, and we need to subtract it from the uh, reference image from the left, and we get the corresponding point. This is a corresponding point um, on the right image. And this is we, the function we draw the green, green spot that uh, we show here, green spot. The center coordinate and subtract the x coordinate with this disparity value and we can get the corresponding point on the right right image and um, so this is um, the end of my explain thank you okay so thank you very And next, I will explain how to do the problem four. First, we need to find the key points on the two image. And first, you need to read two image as square value and detect the key point based on the SIFT function in the OpenCV, like CV2 SIFT create. And as the means of the requirement, requirements of the problem. You need to solve the key point based on the key point site and get the first 200 key points. And finally, you can draw the key point on the image and output the image based on CV2 draw key point. And next, we need to match the key point of these two image. And first, you need to compute the describer of key point and match the key point based on KD tree. And this is the sound environmental setting of the function KN match. So, and to be noticed, you need to find the match key point based on describer two, or you will be the error in question three. And next, use a ratio test to remove repeat feature as peer loss paper. And do all of them, you can draw the match key point by draw key match KNN this function. And finally, final show the result image. And finally, you need to warp shock to image from the matched key point obtained in the question two, and use the resync this function. And first, you need to redo ratio test to remove the repeat feature, and save save the result as a list, and. Calculate the corresponding coordinate and get the perspective transformation using resync this function. This mistake. And finally, warp the image to and add the result back to the image one. And finally, show the result image. And this is problem four. So result image will be. Result image will look like this. Result, result image will look like this.
Okay, so coming up to question five, uh, it's, uh, the purpose for this is we have CIFAR 10 uh, classifier and we want to change it with PGG 16. And the purpose for this is uh, to kind of like uh, ask you guys to like uh, create your, like start creating your own your network and, and try it out and see if the prediction is accurate or not. So, um, yeah, I'll just take it in then. Um, so, first, we would need a uh, PyTorch and uh, OpenCV, of course, and uh, Mapplot. And also, we would need, need the data set from PyTorch, uh, Torch Vision data set downloaded. And the expected uh, uh, UI would look like this. Uh, I see some of the students have a train button in the, in the, uh, 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 included in their UI, but it's not necessary here. Yes. Okay. So for the first question is like uh, we're asking you to uh, load a uh, Cipher 10 training data set, and the way to uh, load the data that's and data loader over here. Uh, it's and then uh, the default uh, path will be at the working directory data. And also, you can uh, specific uh, uh, the the parameter here uh, if you wanted to download or not. If you already downloaded it, you don't need to download it again. Okay. And then, uh, so after the data uh, are downloaded, uh, we can come and then try to see uh, if we have uh, the images uh, being downloaded and then showed it uh, with three by three. So here we have uh, all the 10 images here with the classifier labeling to uh, zero to nine. And we would plot it out uh, by three by three over here, like this. Uh, okay. And then, uh, okay. So the third question is to ask you to uh, show your uh, your model structure. So you should have like this printed out at your terminal. And um, the way to do that is like basically just uh, from torch summary and import summary and then like import the package and then you can print it out like this. So uh, if you have done it correctly, it should show like this. You would have the uh, listed a, a layer model and uh, uh, processing uh, layers and um, yeah and uh, uh, let's see. And the uh, uh, number of trainable uh, parameters being shown in here, like uh, basically in three categories. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and then like uh, the way that we show the layer over here. So basically, it's a uh, depend like how did you uh, configure your uh, VGG layer. And as of here for an example over here, like we configure for like this. And and from here, it's like maximum pulling. Uh, and we uh, would declare a VGG class uh, as a model. And then uh, coming to the next page, uh, we'll pass through this and then given it a, a loop to read through the, the, uh, the configuration that we gave in the above page uh, to assign with the um, convolution layer and the maximum layer and the and, and revenue. Uh, and also to mention uh, the batch norm to the over here is to uh, do batch normalization, uh, which the uh, argument would take a like, number of the features. And after that, um, you would like uh, transform uh, your cipher data type to PyTorch data type. Okay, so coming up to uh, the fourth question. Um, so this question is to ask you to show your uh, training result of your uh, loss and accuracy. So uh, uh, we would expect uh, results like this. You should show up uh, your accuracy and uh, loss 
to us when we hit the button. And the way to do this is like uh, after you have the uh, your model being trained, and you should have your model being saved on uh, on your laptop ready or whatever place you tra you trained, and then you have the the uh, parameters and model being ready, um, and then you come in and train this uh, and pot it up. So. Um, the result will look like this, and one of the thing is I've noticed um, some of the people didn't train at least 20 apples, so that's why you lose some point over there. So just to be mind that. Um, and then the fifth one. Um, uh, so this is the final question of this um, this um, assignment uh, of the question five. Uh, basically, it's just to. Uh, load the chained uh, model and then see if um, the prediction and the, the output is um, accurate or not. So, um, so first we come to load the uh, model and then read the data. And then um, we printed out the uh, predicted and uh, output the, um, image. And also, we would uh, give it a soft max to give it the property over here to see uh, the, the uh, estimated uh, probability. And uh, yeah, and some of the students have lost points over here because they didn't have the label being um, indexed correctly, uh, like the, the, the slang over here. Um, some of you like um, maybe um, display a ship, but it's not like the corresponding uh, indexing over here. Maybe mix up or something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's all for um, the uh, homework one. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. So if you have any other questions, just uh, let us know or ask the, the TA. So we will continue this one. And we'll announce our uh, solution in cloud solution in the FTP site. And also this uh, this PPT file. So you can, it's also called a PPT file. So you can download from our FTP site. We'll continue. Continue our lecture. So we, we talk about a supportive way to measure. So, so we talk about PCA plus LDA. Okay, that's a we project project our our samples to the low dimension and do the within and between classification. And right now we talk about the kernel, actually the kernel function. And the kernel function is an activation function. It's activation, so it's related to our deep learning activation function. Okay. So our deep learning activation function basically is from the supportive vector machine, the idea. So before we talk about that one, the same, I would like to explain to you about the, this discrimination line, this line. So for each line, this line, right? So suppose each line is this one. Previously, we talked about W1, X1 plus W2, X2 equal to, actually minus one equal to zero. So is this one. When we talk, when we talk about um, the LDA, so this is W1, X1 plus W2, X2 plus W0 equal to 0, so this term. And this term, if we write this to be this format, you will see is this one. So this X1, and this P, so P is here, it's 
x2. Q, Q is here. And then equal to what? So this equation equal to this equation. And this equation, you compare with this one. It'll be easy to see. So what I'm trying to say is a physical meaning because, uh, because there's a point P0 in X1. So here P, Q0, Q, constant term. Okay. So this equation, you transfer to the this for the, the vector vector format or matrix format will become this one. This comes. This is the parameters term. This is the access term. Access term is the input input symbol. This is a, we don't know. We want to estimate the parameters p and q. This one. So this one become this one, and this one is. If we use the neural network format, you'll find the W is all the parameters, right? I can see. So our, if we, in our uh, neural network, or even though we do the deep learning, so this input. So I said if an input image size is 20 by 20, then this will, X will be X1 to X400, right? So the input x it will w it will be one cell this will be one cell and plus b what's b b is bias is the threshold of the learning okay so this one is the equation of discrimination nine also this one in the deep learning or neural network is a cell it's a new new no new no I should say it's new no it's a new no so you have to know what is a new no just to say discrimination you know yeah this is a new no now this is from this from this is from this 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 Say again, what's the meaning of W? So W is a normal direction. Normal direction of this line. So this W. And this W immediately will pass through the, the, the orange. W will constant the transcoding in the W, normal direction. Okay. I use my method to teach you, my way to teach you the linear algebra. Okay. So we have a W. So that's what I said. W will control. W will control the rotation of this line. So So this will be W. So W is a line. So W will control this line. And this translation. We we will talk about translation later. So translation with distance here. Distance between from zero zero to this line. So this is translation. Translation. Yeah, this dot rotation. And we back to here. So in the line, suppose you have two points, X A and X B. Right, the same line. So if we input any point on the line, the equation will be zero. But why is I say two points? Because two points become a vector. So you will find out both can be this one. This meaning this W is normal direction of this line times any vector on this line will be 90 degree here. Will be zero. Just do ma. Oh, so we better leave. Oh, the juju. So this means W is a normal vector of this nine equation. So W, we just try to try to say W is a normal vector, normal direction of this vector. Okay. And 
and then we talk about translation. This is when we talk about rotation. In rotation, no moderation. Right now we talk about translation B. So if this B trans this equation, translation B equal to zero is meaning this nine will be here. Without translation. So B equal to zero. But if this noise is a distance here, and what's the distance here? What's the distance? The distance is not B. The distance will be B divided by W1 square plus W2 square. I think it's uh, somewhere right here. Right here. We'll talk about this later. So the distance is this one. We can talk about that stuff very soon. So here, just that you know, if b equal to zero, meaning there is no distance from point zero, zero, zero to the nine, so it will be here. So we keep going. And then we talk about the inner product. What's the concept of inner product? Is uh, if two vectors, a and the b, the inner product is inner product. So inner product meaning the a vector, the b vector, they have a rotation angle of theta. So a project to b equal to this one. This, this is a magnitude or amplitude, da xiao, a the da xiao, sen san b the da xiao, sen san cosine theta, so the a project to b. So that's meaning what? Meaning, okay, so this is a vector a. So what's the a times cosine theta is meaning a their their magnitude along this b direction. So the a times b the total is cosine theta. The total in them cosine theta is the total in them projection. So a times cosine theta equal to this one. So it's based on this one, right? So this a b is inner product. And we move B to here. So that's meaning any vector A, the cosine theta equal to A in a product with unit vector B. That's what I try to say. Projection to the toyin diang, toyin diang, toyin diang is A, it's a vector dash. Thank you. So when we talk about um, normalization, we always in the denominator term we have a normalization term. That this is your middle school this one, middle school is just this one. Distance equal to your equation this one, right? And this is zero zero. So you do put zero zero to x term plus b and divide it by this is a, actually this w one square times and plus w two square. And square root, 
，所以它在掉。所以这个是 B 值是它 ，B 就是它的 B 值，它 B 等于几？那这个是什么？这个就是 x 投影到 W， 就 this one。Is this one? Same. Don't go. 就是可能我加点头脑晕晕的，你自己回去再想看一下啊。就是说 ，any line, the distance between origin to the line is d. So d is equal to the constant term divided by normalness. Equal to what? Equal to the x any point in this line, project on W, project on the W. So x project on W equal to d. So I'm telling you this thing. Why do I tell you this? It's because it's supported. So our purpose. I I go to page thirteen and I will, I will come back. It's our purpose. Our purpose is this one. Suppose you have two classes, right? One class, two classes. In the LDA, in the LDA, LDA, LDA is try to find a line. This line we hope to separate into two classes. SVM is the same idea, but the different thing is that they have a margin. Is margin, margin. What's the margin? Margin is meaning we try to adapt to part away. 你想你想找到一个方区域，让这个区域让这两个 class 之间越分开越好。所以它一个 margin， 有个短短的那个那个中一个嘛一个一个区域，不是只有一条线。LDA consider L even though LDA is a line, but LDA consider between and the within, right? Between and the within, it consider these two factors. SVM, if it has these two factors, how do you do? It uses margin to move it out. It uses margin instead of the within and between. SVM uses the margin. Instead of within and between. So right now, if you study the deep learning, especially many、uh, papers, good, very good paper in face recognition from China, they consider margin for deep learning. They consider within. They consider the between. They do. They do a good job. The some do. 大陆的这个 paper 做的非常好。就大陆的 AI 很强，是真的很强。OK， 所以我讲的，我我教你是观念问题 ，concept， 就是 teach you the concept。What's the concept between within margin? It's three concept. How do you do? How when you do the research, when you do the classification, how do you consider the between?、Uh, we want between， 就相对关系。Between is a way as possible. Within is a closer as close as possible, and margin is away as possible. So before we talk about the margin, the family, because this is nine, this is nine. So we need to talk about this one. We need to talk about this equation. Okay. So we need to talk about distance. Oh, sorry. So we talk about sorry. We talk about distance d. So. In order to teach you the margin, we talk about d, and then next page is the margin. Margin is meaning suppose we have two line, this become a margin. So supportive vector machine is important. Supportive vector machine, the important thing is what? Important thing is the the margin and the kernel function. SVM. The important thing, important technology you want to learn from SV, sorry SVM, is margin, margin. The second is a kernel function, activation function. These two are very important. 
um, PCA plus LPA. What we try to teach you is a uh, within and the between. So, 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 so the same time, the difference is a translation B. So the margin ds equal to the distance d1 minus d2 will equal to this one. So SVM actually is try to maximize this margin. Maximize this margin meaning minimize the B. That's the SVM. SVM try to maximize the margin. Maximize the margin is maximize this one. It's meaning try to minimize the dumping. So next next several page we talk we'll talk about how can we minimize this W. So that's the SVM. So the second is the kernel function. We want to let this W due to the high degree. Based on the activation function. Okay, now we can talk about the other thing with the teacher, the teacher plate. But the teacher, what are the general? This is the Xiamen, Xiamen, you can talk about the kernel function. This is the Xiamen, you can talk about the kernel function. Oh, we can talk about the kernel function. Let me take a break.